Well, I have an MFJ 4125P 25 amp power supply, switching power supply, and I use in the shack to power a few things. And the problem is the fan. Right now it's just barely spinning there, and it's making some strange noises like it wants to take off and run faster, but it, uh, it don't. And it was always a noisy fan, but I think they are that way in this model power supply unless they've changed things. But it's been kind of a noisy fan. I've been going to try to replace it from the start with something quieter. Well, uh, now I'm going to have to take it apart and see what I can do here. See if I can replace that fan with something else that I have. So it's just, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's just barely spinning. Barely moving in the air at all. So I'm going to need to do something here. Looks like there's four screws on each side to remove to get the top cover off. And we'll see what it looks like from there. All right, take a look in here. Yeah, there's the fan in the back. And um, it doesn't have a good feel to it. It feels kind of kind of stiff. So, see if I can remove it. It looks like the fan will come out with these four screws on the back side here. Um, now this has been a good power supply. I, I like it. It uh, works just fine. It's just the fan that is my problem here. And by the way, it does have Anderson power pull connectors there, which, uh, you know, I'm a fan of those, and it has the binding post. But anyhow, here's the fan. You can see, maybe the lighting isn't too good, but uh, I don't know if you can see when I try to spin it. doesn't f move freely. Just kind of sticky. It has an output on the rear side also. This is the back side. But there's the fan looking from the back and the four screws. Now if need be, I do have quite a variety of fans here. 12 volt fans, so possibly one of these will fit in there, but uh, or I can make fit. But if not, <laughs> you know how it goes. A lot of times, have a lot of things on hand, but nothing exactly what you want. Okay, I got the fan out. It's a 12 volt fan, uh, 160 milliamp, and it's kind of dusty. You can see now kind of looks kind of gunked up there I just went ahead and clipped my there's a red and a black wire coming directly into the fan and since I'm not going to use this fan again I just clipped them short there and I went ahead and also dusted out uh, used some little bit of compressed air to dust out the inside of the power supply and it's getting a little bit dusty kind of like what you see in computers sometimes well, I found a couple of possibilities here, a couple of fans that might work. They're a little thicker. This is the original, and they're a little thicker, so it's not going to be as easy to get them in there, but I think they still will fit. You might just have to uh, kind of bend the back panel back a little bit to get it past this ridge, but once it's down in there, um, I think either one of these will fit. They're rated uh, about the same current draw. On on either one close to the original what the original is so you know I'm sure either one would have enough airflow um, I hooked up I brought the wires from the fan out of the power supply here and just put them on some alligator clips because I do believe they cut the voltage down a little bit on these leads to the fan um, you have 13.8 volts on the main terminals of the power supply and I don't think they tap it right off there I think I measure a little less, closer to actually 12 volts on these wires. So I probably don't want to drive the fans with the direct 13.8 volts. So let me just wire these up and show you I already tried them here. One is a little noisier than the other. I'll turn the supply on here. And this one's pretty quiet. I, I, I'm kind of leaning towards this one right now because I can barely hear it. It's very quiet. I'll hold my mic down by that and see if you can hear that. Okay. Now, 
hook up this other fan that will fit and the holes on the fans are two inches apart either way and that's kind of a standard here that's just what the holes are on the old fan so they're the same dimensions as far as mounting the mounting holes Now this one's a little noisier. This is actually closer to how noisy this original fan was, and it was a little noisy for me. If you can hear, if you can hear that. So, and then when it's mounted onto the chassis, it's even a little louder. You can hear it in the whole room, basically. Uh, a little noisier than a uh, than most computer fans are these days in computers. So once again, here's a fan I think I'm going to use, and it's kind of hard to show how noisy they are, I guess, on this microphone because you get the airflow probably going across the mic. But I'll hold it off to the side, and just from my sitting position, I can just barely hear it. Just a whisper of a fan, so kind of like that. So I'm going to see if I can fit that in there. Uh, other options would be, I have some smaller fans, would be a little more difficult to mount them and they're kind of noisy too. So I think this is my best bet. And I don't have schematic on hand. I didn't uh, try to find one or download for what I'm doing here because I know I can just replace the fan without looking at the schematic. But like I say, I'm sure they drop the voltage down here because it is measured lower than at the terminals. So my next step will be to try and solder the wires up to the old wires, which kind of a cramped space there, and I don't really think I want to remove the board and all that. Uh, that's a lot of work. I can get it this way. And see, this is a little wide, but once you get it in there, I think it'll fit down in there. So I just need to get this bent back a little ways to get it squeezed down in there. So I'll see if I can do that. And I think we'll be all set. And the fan I'm using here is, uh, oh, is it XV fan? Or I can't quite make out the logo there, I guess. X fan or XV fan, I'm not sure. Brushless DC fan, uh, model RDM6025S, 12 volts. And actually, this one is less current, uh, 0.1 amp. And the old one was 0.16 amp. So, and even if it doesn't blow quite as much air, I think it's still going to move plenty of air. But even if it don't, in uh, the case of my power supply, I'm not using it for any high current situations or anything. So, I think I'll be just fine there. It's going to move enough air. Uh, the only time I, I draw a little more current is uh, when I use my dual band base. Uh, radio to transmit on high power occasionally and uh, usually it isn't for very long periods of time so I'm not really worried about that so I think this will work fine and I do want it to blow the air outward take the air from inside and move it outward so it does say on here airflow that direction so I will mount it so it sucks the air out of the unit sucks the heat out alright I don't have it completely back together yet but I did get that fan to fit and I did have to bend the rear of the housing back just a little bit to get it snuck past this lip here but uh, now I can squeeze it back together like that and looks like it's gonna work okay and I should have a nice quiet fan now, I could have went ahead and just ordered a replacement fan from MFJ but uh, I just want to see if I could find something that I had here, and I did, that I can make work. So should be fine the way it is. So here's a close-up view. I extend the wires a little bit. Just ran them around here and down. But that's what it looks like in there. Okay, I reassembled it. And seems to be working good. Voltage checks normal and I can barely hear the fan which is a very good thing and I still have good airflow 
So I found a nice quiet fan. It's going to be a little nicer in the shack not having to listen to a fan constantly, although I did get kind of used, used to it. And I'll just hold my little microphone up by the fan here. If you could hear anything, that's the sound of the fan. And like I say, it's very hard for me to hear just sitting back a couple feet away from it. And this power supply, I do like it because it uh, emits very little RF. Uh, some switching power supplies are very noisy on some of the HF bands and on the AM broadcast band and that type of thing. But this one, uh, it's pretty quiet. It hasn't really bothered uh, any of my equipment as far as noise levels on on uh, HF or AM broadcast. So um, it's going back in the shack now, I guess. 7.3 WD0AKX.